so I actually didn't start the vlog today or talk at all in the vlog today because it was so cold so I didn't want to vlog outside. It was freezing even if I had my gloves on. So cold. It was like minus 20 something today. I think it feels worse because of the wind. I'm not sure. But today I went to the gym and it was okay. You'll probably see. I'll insert the clip of the of the of the gym that I filmed and I'm just like going like this the entire time just because it hurts so much. I don't know what I did. The person at the gym said that it was probably my muscles were dehydrated and so they cramped up. So right over here it hurts so much. So she gave me a tennis ball and like I rolled it roll the shoulder or like the trap I don't even know it's like the back of the trap if anything against the wall with the tennis ball so it hurts so much but it obviously helped because I feel a lot less pain now and class was really good they sh uh, the professor showed um, disturbing f footage of animals being um, animals suffering and tortured in the f factory farms which was really good to open up the eyes for some people that just don't know about it. And that, yeah, that was really good. I appreciated that he did that. that that's a very bold move of a, of a professor. I really like that. Um, one thing I did want to say that I didn't get to tell you is that when we skipped, you told me that the whole thing with the cat, that you found the cat and then you um, called the parents of the cat, parents, the owner, whatever you want to say. I just wanted to say that was an amazing thing that you did. You could have just said, oh, whatever, like heard the cat crying and being like, okay, whatever, like somebody else will take care of it or the owner will find it. You could have said so many different things. You could have just gone upstairs and gone to bed because it was like two or whatever in the morning, but you did the right thing and um, you even held the cat and comforted it, no even if it scratched you. Which I'm sure you forgive the cat, of course. <laughs> but I'm just so proud of what you did. It was amazing. It touched me. And I'm sure it touched the cat and the owner. Yes, the cat. I'm sure it touched the cat. The cat was kind of cute. Um, I hope this scar goes away very soon, though. And um, I hope tomorrow you have a good day at the gym. And kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm going to read, edit this vlog, um, and go to bed. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. The vlog, I forgot to say something so funny, like completely funny. So before our environmental ethics class began, two students, um, not from this class, from a different class probably, but they're within UFT, asked the professor if they can make an announcement. And the professor was like, yeah, sure, why not? And it was about something about, like, the announcement was about going internationally to get an internship. So go to Colombia and get an internship for, like, four months in the summer and get paid for it. That kind of thing, which was really cool. But they were saying, like, all the amazing things that you get going with this internship. And one of the girls said, you can kill, um, you can kill so many birds with one stone. And everyone started laughing because it's an environmental ethics class and we're talking about animal rights. And then the professor out of nowhere was just, um, he said, D don't kill any birds. <laughs> it was so funny. I guess in like hindsight, it's not that funny for you. But I don't know, you, I'm sure you can imagine how funny it was at that moment. He, everyone just started laughing because we understood why that just wouldn't work and the professor laughed too and then he said that which was just like on point and so funny yeah i'm so yeah i <laughs> just wanted to add that anyways i love you